Hi, Jonah. I'm Joe Buck. I'm from Tennessee, motherfucker. <laughs> Cut and lost her faith. It's 
the shots in the window of mine. Duck day, restless breeze of a woman on the side of the Shit's gone. So thank you, motherfuckers. And here's one from me to you, motherfuckers, right in the south. So this is about us, motherfuckers.
no Jonas, man. What's yours, brother? Jackson. Jackson, see what you got to look forward to when you grow up. <laughs> you got to behave and shit while you're a kid and everything like that. But see, look what you get to do when you're an adult. <laughs> so much that there's this place right in the middle of that motherfucker that I wish somebody would drop a fucking bomb on me. Yeah. Cause you gotta leave Paris, Tennessee alone. Johnson City, Kingston. The whole trial sitting in jail, motherfuckers. And they're not nice in Knoxville. And down in Chattanooga, they just good old country folks, motherfuckers. But I had to get the fuck out of that town because I was gonna be the one to fucking blow that motherfucker up. Yeah! Yeah! 
I got my little weapon of mass destruction, my boy. Oh, yeah. My little Gibson ES 125. <laughs> oh, I know the fuck. I went back to the country to a town on the lake and the shiver. In the woods, there's a song on the wind I'm saying to. In the yard, you'll find a breeze of smoke on my face. to see these punk rock kids wearing a brand new George Jones t-shirt, man. Yeah! 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 I don't know, man, it doesn't. Because those guys changed my life about 25 years ago, man. And it's like, to see some kid still lo fucking like, telling me that George Jones just changed his fucking life, motherfucker. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's the possum, motherfucker. That's one of my Ash County boys back here, motherfucker. God, I'm fucking, what's the girl's birthday? This Fight No, somebody yell at the girl's birthday. Brent, Brent. Where's she at? Yeah! Well, darling. I hear you're one of the greatest supporters of this place, man. And I know Stacy fucking appreciates it, and goddamn, I appreciate it because look how far I had to look for you. <laughs> you're straddling my bass drum. <laughs> I know the little thump is good enough. <laughs> Music City's dead. Anybody got else any request? Twinkle, 
this is a story about the rock of a man. Yeah. And they'll work in a lot of terms and the new things that you got to write on things on board. That's right. One day, no train driver, he pulled up that tow gate, you know, tow man. He held that and he said, where are you going board there? He just grinned and he looked at him. And he said, I got a lot of stock, I got a lot of stock. I got cows, I got sheep, I got mules, I got pigs, I got all the livestock. And he said, son, you all right? He said, you can run up through and you ain't got to pay no toll. So as that old man pulled through there, that train could start picking up a little steam. And he cleared that tow gate. He looked back at that tow man, flipped that motherfucker off. And he hollered at him. Hey, I pulled you, I pulled you, I got the gun, I got the gun, I got all the gun.
Yeah. No wonder you're so good looking, though. <laughs> I loved it when you gave me a tour of the old store. There's one from my buddies, Jackson, and, and uh, don't tell me. Jonah, J-O-N-A-H.
Grandma lost his mom about a year ago. Oh, Grandma lost his mom about a year ago. Yeah. Let me hear that, brother. But yes. You made Teresa cry by telling me that. Teresa! Oh. <laughs> it's all right, man, because I had to walk off too, motherfucker. Yeah, actually, I do have a heart that beats. Most people think I've been dead for about three years, but I'm actually still hanging in there. What's that? Hey, my brother, Mr. Bandana said, motherfuckers, I'm proud to have him with me the last four fucking days. <laughs> and the young brothers, Joe and Jeff and Teresa, they like, you know, they're my family and Anna I seen and shit like that. And let me tell you something, they've been to, I don't know what, we played a show on Saturday, but you've been at like, what, four or five shows the last week? I don't know, man, it's like, for me to have my favorite guitar player standing right in front of me having fun. I know, brother. Why don't I shut up and sing my ass little fucking pussy song? But... You're coming down for the tragedy of the aristocrat and I have to breathe. And by the window pane hides another day, shadows lift. To usher in a symphony complete with dancing guilt at the fool's expense. But up finds a home. Bitter comes to stay, and bitter lingers on. And bitter is the day, and bitter comes and waves. Bitter comes to stay, and bitter is the day. And bitter is the way to an early grave. For my soul to save, for my soul I pray. Cast bitter days away. Longing for a sense, honeysuckle sweet reprise. The memories defeat a defiant sense of hope in the room. Bitter is the day. That shit'll eat you up, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down from the tragedy of the Ariston. And I to breathe. Written for a slide in desperation's tale, as if to say, I need one, but I don't want it. I've been looking forward to this for 45 fucking shows. I started out in Mississippi a long time ago and I was just like, I can't wait to get to fucking boom, man. I know, brother, you guys got a great thing here, man, like the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. The man Stacy here and all the people in this scene, the car wash. Y'all are the reason, man. I don't do this shit. Y'all do it, motherfuckers. Yeah. All right, Double's on his way. Yeah. 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 
mine was an iron-on, but it wasn't. <laughs> but if I gotta keep one, I guess I'll keep Hank fucking Williams. That's why I keep that son of a bitch right here, motherfucker. Because that shit keeps me away from my devils, motherfuckers. But you do have to keep your enemies close. That's right, Teresa, because you can keep an eye on them that way, right? Because I had to learn the hard way, man, at 13 years of old age. If I didn't want that big motherfucker fucking with me anymore, man, I decided right then and there that with these two skinny little fucking arms, that there ain't no man that can fuck with me, motherfucker. Because he came to me with that balled up fist, man, he was gonna pummel my ass. But I said no. This time, I went down to the guns, knives, and liquor store. And I got myself a fucking knife, motherfucker. Oh yeah, I waited up for that motherfucker. I cut him up so fucking bad, motherfucker. That's right, I put that motherfucker in the hospital for three fucking weeks, man. But Teresa, I should have killed him. Oh yeah, he got out three weeks later, went around bragging all around town, and he was gonna string me up like one of the deer he had just killed. Got my ass. You know how you, you know how you got a deer? Yeah. Split him open, yeah, yeah. tie a string around his asshole, fucking naked, and then oh, yeah. yank. <laughs> yeah, well, he may have been 23 years old, and I'm 13. But I was smart enough to go back to that same guns, knives, and liquor store. So when that motherfucker came to me with a knife, uh-uh. Cause I already got your gun, motherfucker. So here we have that motherfucker. Coming at me with his bowie knife. He must have been scared cause I just grinned at him. I got that fucker in my sights. I got that fucker in my sights. I got that fucker in my sights. Rock. Hey. Rock. Hey.